Okay. Cool. So, who's ready? Type a ready if you're ready. I'm walking on a treadmill. <laughs> yeah. I think really the best way to start these presentations is actually from the end to make sure we get it right from the start. And so what are your goals with respect to your creative life and your financial life? If you can just type in the chat, what's one of your goals with your creative life and your financial life, that'd be good to know. That way I can cater this uh, talk tonight to you for you. So just post in the chat, what's one of your goals for your creative life and your financial life? And based on that, we can uh, make sure to give you the roadmap. Endless fruit, never go back to a nine to five. Be prosperous and aligned. Own land for animals. Cat says, create a following to generate clients. Jiangsu authenticity and independence. Cool, triple my income while having fun. There we go. Make my own hours. 100K per month, travel the world speaking to teens. Cool. There we go, man. There we go. 100K a month, traveling the world speaking to teens. From Andrew. Ali, travel and work and share. Teach, love, and inspire. From Matt. Shelly says, help people become the best version of themselves, promote business, live life. Lori, financial security and comfort doing what I love and helping others. All right, so this class is gonna help you with that. Good stuff. This training is for you specifically if you're one of the people who loves making videos. This class tonight is for people who love making videos. This is for people who wanna make a living out of helping others and leverage the power of those videos to do so. And if you resonate with this quote, like I don't wanna just make money, I wanna make it while also making a difference. This came right out of the mouth of someone who's just signed up to work with me for coaching. And when they said this, I was like, bam, this is like so in alignment with like everyone that I work with. They don't just wanna make money, they wanna make money while also making a difference. I'm sure all of you can really resonate with that as well. So who's tonight not for? This is not for you if you don't enjoy being creative, if you're like kind of like ashamed of being creative, if you think it's like too feminine or something to be creative. If you don't enjoy helping people, if you just think like you only want to help yourself, and if you're easily triggered by constructive criticism and feedback, because you're going to need a lot of that to really succeed with this. So what you're going to learn today is going to be awesome. It's going to be how to make free YouTube videos that are in alignment with what you really believe in. So shout out to all the people that use that word alignment that will actually look really good and make you money while, of course, also making an impact on the people, the planet, and the animals. So if you stay to the end, you'll also be able to access a, a group of vegans who make videos on a regular basis together. So if you want help, support, feedback on making videos, make sure to stay to the end. Plus, I'm going to give you a copy of these slides as well so that you don't need to take a whole bunch of notes as we go through this because I'm going to be moving pretty quickly through this. And just for context, just to like explain why we're having this class in the first place, growing up, like a lot of kids, I used to run around the neighborhood with all my friends and loving every single minute of it. I'm sure a lot of you had that same experience. I hope you have at least. Uh, but unlike a lot of kids, I had a speech impediment. I had a stutter and I couldn't form sentences without st 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 stuttering on every other word. And still to this day, it, like it's, it's like, it's not, it's not a good memory to remember those, those days. I was always really embarrassed to talk because I got made fun of and bullied. People were like, this guy retarded. And so I just stayed quiet most of the time. I really didn't like to talk. Uh, so my goal when I got older was to find just a really low, pro low profile job that didn't involve speaking much with anyone and just aim to make minimum wage. But when I finally got my first job, 16 years old, it paid me six bucks an hour for flipping burgers and scraping the grill at the back of the restaurant. Actually, I was supposed to scrape the grill for vegetarians because they didn't want their meat patty on the meat grill. But I was like, screw that. It's just some meat. Nothing wrong with that. So I never actually scraped the grill too much for the vegetarians. I just put it right on the greasy meat grill. And that's what they all do at these restaurants. So I don't recommend most of them do, I should say. I don't recommend buying vegetarian patties at meat restaurants because the grill is usually used for meat. Uh, but when I got a job there, I instantly felt what a waste of a life this was to work for someone else doing something I didn't enjoy. That was a key for me, doing something. I, I, I wanted to do something I really enjoyed. I remember thinking like, even if I was getting a hundred bucks an hour for this job, I'd still feel like I was just wasting my life flipping burgers and scraping the damn grill. It's not what I wanted. Instead, I wanted to do something I was actually passionate about, like I'd always done growing up as a kid, just playing and having fun. I thought as a young kid, like I could just keep doing that my whole life. And then I found out about adulthood and I was like, oh, you got to work and it's supposed to suck. Like, that's not cool. So needless to say, I, I quit that $6 an hour job and I went on to, I went on, went on the lookout for something fun. And now not only was I desperate for money because I quit the job, but I was also desperate for meaning in my life. I needed to way of... I need to have take, taken my mind off the sad excuse for life and 
somehow overcome the stutter. And so I got into a lot of drugs, got into smoking weed, popping ecstasy, doing a lot of psychedelics just to take my mind off this like really crappy life I was living. And then fast forward a few years, thank God I got into raw foods because I was trying to clear up my acne at the time. And I started cutting all these different foods and nothing really worked. But then once I went raw, bam, results. So because it worked right away for me, I was, I was really so passionate about raw foods. Type raw foods in the chat if you're also passionate about raw foods. I want to see where all my raw foodies at. See who else is all passionate about it. Yeah, Yelena, Itamar, Shelly, Raj. Yeah, Allison. Cool. Shelly, Jungsu. Yeah, cool. So and I was so passionate about it, not just how it made me look, but how it made me feel, right? And I, I felt like I had to share this raw food message with the world. There was, there's no way. This was back like 10 years ago. I was like, there's no way this can't go uh, like viral. Like this is insane, the results I'm getting. So I wanted to help others experience clear skin, better digestion, more energy and radiant health. But how was I going to speak? I had that speech impediment. And I was like, this is, this is like a, a conundrum. Like on one hand, I'm embarrassed to speak. But on the other, like I had this powerful message I have to share with the world. I was scared people are going to make fun of me again. I was scared people are going to catch me stuttering and be like, yo, is this guy like not all there mentally? But this life, life-changing benefits of raw food, like it just drove me beyond the fear and into sharing the message of true health. And in sharing the message, I actually unlocked one more life-changing benefit that nobody had ever told me about. I understood the clear skin benefits. I understood the digest digestion benefits. I understood the energy benefits. But through speaking with power and conviction and passion, making these YouTube videos every day, it became my speech therapy. And video by video, I was able to overcome my stutter for the most part. <laughs> every now and then I might still slip up and stutter a bit, but I'm sure most of you do the same. Uh, I, I now had built up my confidence, not just for speaking with people, but really going after my dreams in life as well. So really, really cool what happens when you just go for it. The universe aligns with, with you and just gives you more power than you realize you actually had. And so early in my YouTube journey, back when I was only getting, say, 50 views per video, people were already asking me if I could coach them because I was just talking about my results. And if you stand in front of 50 people and tell them your results, what do you think some of them are going to say? They're going to say, wow, can you help me get those same results? This is just human nature one-on-one. This is what happens. So just don't worry about not getting a lot of views early on. Like you can still crush it even with just 50 views per video. Uh, but since I had zero experience at the time with any coaching, I had zero confidence in myself back, back when I first got started. I just politely said no. And I would just make free videos to help them as well. I'd say, hey, send me a message, post a comment down below. Let me know what your issue is. I'll make a free video to try and help you out. But no matter how many free videos I kept putting out, I kept getting requests for coaching. They said, no, I, I want help with my personal issues. And eventually my confidence grew with more videos I made. And I eventually cracked and I started saying, yeah, but I'll help you out. But, you know, we, um, first I want to do a session with you completely for free. And only if you like it and you want more help, then you can pay me $500 for a month of support. This is way back again, like nine, eight years ago. Um, so within a month, I was easily able to get a few clients through YouTube. It was really, really easy because just talking about my results over and over and over again, everybody wants results. And this, you know, getting five clients, it was enough to allow me not to have to work. It was really happened very seamlessly. When you get five clients at 500 bucks each, that's 2,500 bucks a month. Type 2,500 in the chat. If you'd be happy with an extra 2,500 bucks a month right now, talking to five people a month. Like if you could just talk to five people a month, help them with their health, like an extra 2,500 bucks, that's not bad. Okay. And, and when you, when I was living in Thailand, my expenses were, were next to nothing. It was like a thousand bucks a month. So I was, I had stacking, you know, 1500 bucks a month at this point. Uh, but then when courses came a thing, I started having people ask me for a course. And I was like one of the first people to, to launch a course, especially in the raw food movement, because again, it's back so, so many years ago. So I made a 30 day raw food challenge course. And if you wanted to learn about raw foods, you could buy a $47 course. So guys, if you wanted to learn about raw foods right now, would you buy a $47 course? Like if you're brand new to it and you found out all the benefits and you wanted to get those benefits, would you pay $47 for a course? Most of you are going to say, yeah, like it's, it's kind of a no brainer, right? And that's the thing about these offers. You got to make them absolutely no brainers. So I was able to make an additional $2,500 per month with this course, because every time someone saw that offer, they're like, duh, no brainer. I don't learn about raw foods. This guy's like already been doing it for a few years. I'll, I'll learn from him. At the time, I'd only been doing it for maybe three, four years, but still for most people, that's like considered long-term. And so now 2,500 bucks from the course, 2,500 bucks from the coaching, I was doing 5K a month. My living expenses being under a thousand bucks a month. I was now stacking 4K a month. 
not bad at all. Uh, but you know, I could have never done it this easily if it wasn't for YouTube. No way I could have done it with Instagram. No way I could have done it with just Facebook. Like YouTube allowed me to go to go deep with people, right? YouTube made me clear on my knowledge because I kept sharing new stuff all the time. YouTube gave me eyeballs because people kept watching all the time. YouTube allowed me to build up my confidence to talk in front of a camera. And now because of YouTube and because of these simple videos I make and upload on a regular basis, money's never an issue. You see, over the past 12 months, I've done over 500,000 in sales. And in the next 12 months, things are going to be even better. Like this is just how it is now. This is what happens when you find something people want and you start offering it. Type offer in the chat if you need to make more offers. Type offer in the chat if you need to make more offers. Yeah, like if you have something people want and you make an offer, they buy. Now, here's the thing though, right? You need eyeballs. So type eyeballs in the chat if you need more eyeballs. Unless if you, maybe if you already have a million subscribers or something, you don't need any more. But like if you need some eyeballs, type eyeballs. We're going to talk about how to get those as well, right? So we combine eyeballs with an offer. You're, you're in business. That's it. It's really that simple. We have to simplify it. So now I live where I want eat what I want and get to do what I want with no stress around finances. Like this is like how it, this is how I've always wanted it since I was a kid. I was like, I just want to do what I want every day and have fun. So now I've finally got it. And the question is like, if I'm doing this, why aren't you? Why aren't you? It's probably simply because you haven't got started on it or you haven't stayed focused on it long enough. You can post your reason in the chat why you don't think it's working for you right now, but Chances are you didn't, haven't started yet. You haven't put enough focus on it yet. Or you haven't even got help with it yet. Okay. But if this sounds like the ultimate dream to you, wait, because this is why I'm hosting the workshop today. Okay. So before you go like, yes, this is exactly what I want to do. I'm going to go do it right now. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause what I'm about to say next is really important. Once I started making more money than I knew what to do with, people started asking me how I was doing it. Specifically, they wanted to know how I was making this, making and selling these coaching offers and the courses. Cause they thought like, well, he's selling these courses and coaching programs. Like I want to learn how to do that too. And I was reluctant at first to teach people how to make courses and offer coaching. So I was still kind of new to it, but again, people kept asking. So once again, I cracked and I started teaching others how to put together their own course, how to put together their own coaching program. But once I started teaching others how to do it, how to make their own courses and coaching programs, I discovered something that was so obvious and yet so overlooked. The only people, my only students that were actually able to sell enough of their programs to make a full-time income online with it were the ones who had great long form video content, long form video content. I'm not talking about a quick 15 second reel or a 10 second story or a five second Snapchat or a six second vine or TikTok. Like I'm talking about long form YouTube video content, like two, three, four, five, six, 10, 15 minutes plus longer, the better often photo content wasn't enough. Written content wasn't enough. Audio content wasn't enough. Even short form videos, they were not enough. It was the people who had long form videos of themselves speaking on camera, the people who were actually connecting with their audience via video on a deep level. These were the people who were actually making a living from this. And looking back, it's so obvious to me that this is how I made it so easy for myself. Like, I don't think I'm inherently special by any means. It's just, there wasn't many other people making long form video content in the vegan raw vegan space. And everyone's just doing like these short, shallow posts and descriptions and captions and photos. Like no one's going deep with their people, but when you go deep with your people, they connect. So this is what allowed it to be so easy for me to actually make sales. And is that really a surprise? I mean, it seems so obvious in hindsight to me now, right? Like how else would you connect with your tribe? If you're not doing long form video content, how else are you supposed to actually connect? Nowadays we have other apps that are competing supposedly with YouTube, like TikTok and Instagram, but I'm going to give you guys the five reasons right now that I prefer YouTube for content over TikTok or Instagram. Is this something that you want to see right now? Do you want to know why I prefer YouTube? Would you rather have a relationship with your customers and have them know, like, and trust you or not? Obviously a relationship with your audience isn't just important. It's necessary if you want to make a lot of money while impacting lives. And unlike TikTok and Instagram, where it's mostly very surface level and shallow, YouTube allows me to build deep and meaningful relationships with my audience through long form video content. Yeah, that's why I prefer it. That's reason number one. Next, would you rather only a few people find out about you and what you offer or a lot of people? Well, 
a dumb question, right? Obviously you want a lot of people because once you know how to build the relationships and make sales from your offers, getting views and eyeballs becomes everything. That's it. Like once you have this set up, this is why I'm so excited about being here tonight. Once you have this set up, your only objective is to get more eyeballs. That's it. The rest is, is going to do its thing. You just need more eyeballs once you have it set up. More eyeballs equals more sales every single time. And TikTok and Instagram, they don't make it that easy for you to get eyeballs. They usually give you views on your content for maybe 24 to 72 hours and then nada. Nobody goes to someone's page, scrolls down and like really enjoys their older content. It's like, it seems irrelevant and not new. It's not nice. Like they want like the newest, latest stuff. So YouTube, or Instagram and TikTok, they know that. So they keep showing you the new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. And then most of the views you do get on that new stuff, it's just a few seconds. Like most people are just tapping through stories. Type tap if you're the type of person like me who goes through and just taps through people's stories. Bam, 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 get off. Type a tap if you're a tapper. Like you don't really sit back and be like, wow, I'm going to really absorb everything this person's saying. You're just a tapper. Most, I mean, those apps are designed for that. Tap, tap a -roo. Exactly. They're designed for that. They're, very, they're highly addictive. They make you like, bam, 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 bam. YouTube is a completely different story. Okay. Whereas with YouTube, my, my videos, they keep getting views for life. Okay. They, they, like if I put up a video today, it's still getting views a year from now. In fact, a video I put up six years ago was about to hit a million views now because it's still getting views every day, hundreds of views every single day. And the average view duration on those videos is three minutes. So would you rather have someone pay attention to your message for three minutes or three seconds? Obviously three minutes when you, when you have something to offer and how much easier would it be if you didn't have to amass a huge subscriber base or following to be successful either, right? Imagine if you could just come in and just be a beginner and start crushing it from day one, it'd be so much easier, right? Well, the good news is on YouTube, you can do that because you don't need a lot or any subscribers to make a lot of money because YouTube is a search engine. That's right. It's a search engine. They don't, YouTube doesn't care how many subscribers you have. YouTube is like, they only care about quality. You know, most of your views on Instagram and TikTok, they come from your following unless something goes viral. And then like, that's really rare. Uh, but most of your views are going to come from your, your, your following. And that's why followers are so important on Instagram and TikTok. But that's right. YouTube, it's not a social media engine. Like, sorry, it's not a social media like Instagram and TikTok. It's a search engine. So you don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry about subscribers. But the next question is, do you enjoy spending your life on social media? Probably not. If you're like me, you probably prefer going out and experiencing life. Type life in the chat if you believe real life is better than the internet. I love real life. I love going to festivals and hanging out with friends and doing stuff. Like I don't want to be on the freaking phone and on my computer doing social media crap. It's not my thing. And the good thing is, like I said, YouTube doesn't feel like social media. So it doesn't drain you like TikTok and Instagram does. In fact, YouTube can be actually really refreshing, very motivational. You know, you can be cleaning your house while watching a house cleaning video. You can be like doing push-ups while watching like a workout video. You don't do that on Instagram and TikTok. Those apps are just like brain frying. But YouTube can actually be life-changing. You can go to bed watching YouTube or listening to YouTube, like a meditation or something. Like YouTube is very, very empowering. Now, it's also nowhere near as addictive and in-your-face and brain-numbing as Instagram and TikTok. So the, the, the kind of people you get, the kind of customers or clients you attract on YouTube is very different. Instagram and TikTok customers, they're like, they're all over the place. They're completely scatterbrains. YouTube customers, they're much more likely to pay attention to you when you talk. They're much more likely to do what you say. If you're coaching them, they're much more likely to get results. Would you rather work with a scatterbrain or someone who's focused? Type focus if you'd rather work with someone who's focused. So like, that's why I never run ads on TikTok because those people on that app, man, the brain is like so scattered. It's designed to be scattered. And it feels like whenever you make a YouTube video as well, you're making a piece of art. It actually feels really good to make a YouTube video. I know a lot of my clients come to me and say, Ted, I just made this video and I'm excited to put it out. Like, cause it's a piece of art. It feels really, really good. And when you're watching a YouTube video, a good YouTube video, it feels like you're watching a piece of art as well. It really does feel good. At least for me. And also final thing here is some things in life, they give you a small output for, for a huge input, right? Whereas other things in life, they give you a huge output for a really small input. So for an example, huge, huge, help, huge, huge let's come up with an example here together. A small, um, a small output for a huge input, that's not ideal. And a good example of that is going uh, grocery shopping and making your own meal. Because if you go to grocery shopping, that's a huge input. 
You have to think about what you're going to buy. Then you got to get in the car and go and get it. And then you got to park and then you got to go in and you got to find all the stuff. Hopefully they have it. And then you got to pack in your buggy. Then you got to go wait in the line. Then you got to run it through the till. Then you got to take out your credit card and pay. Then you got to bag it up. And then you got to go back outside, put it in your car, drive home. Hopefully you don't get in a freaking car accident and you're driving. You get home, you unload it. You got to close the car up. You got to go inside. You got to put, bring the food upstairs. You got to put it in the pantry, put it in the fridge, put it in the freezer, organize it. And then now you got to make the meal. Oh, now you got to make the meal. Then you put it in the oven and you deep fry this, or you know, deep fry, you air fry this and you do all this stuff. And it's like, finally you get to eat. And it's like, whoop de doo You got 800 calories in you. You're going to be hungry six hours later now. It's ridiculous. That's such a huge amount of output, huge amount of output for such a little input, right? But if you look at something like setting up an email automation with your best YouTube videos, you set this email automation once, it might take you a couple hours. For the rest of your life, that email automation is going out. In fact, forget the email automation. Just focus on making a YouTube video. You make a YouTube video once, you spend five, six hours on a YouTube video, sure, but now it's up and it's fun to make and it's up now forever. And like I said, I made a video six, years ago or more, and it's getting almost a million views now. So it's still getting views. It's like YouTube is the ultimate for like small amount of input and like huge amount of output. Okay. So you got to decide where you want to put your energy. Like, would you rather spend a few hours making a YouTube video that are going to go on to get you thousands of views or, and make you thousands of dollars as a result, or would you rather spend those same hours making Instagram posts every single day and TikTok reels every single day that no one's even going to see tomorrow because those apps just want new, new, new. See, YouTube doesn't favor new, 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 new. It favors quality and it gives you views if people are searching for what you're making. That's it. So now that you know all that, are you ready to learn how to make beautiful, super helpful, high quality videos? Because if you are, I'm going to show you in just a sec. But since I know we've covered a lot, let's take just a quick breather here. Take a deep breath in. A deep breath out. It feels good, doesn't it? What's been your biggest key takeaway so far? I know we've covered a lot in a very short period of time. I'm curious what your biggest key takeaways are so far. YouTube is higher quality. Yes, quality, quality. And who doesn't like quality? Quality is everything, man. Hey, do you want like a, a, a crappy spouse or a quality spouse? Do you want a crappy meal or a quality meal? Do you want to wear a crappy t-shirt that feels like a napkin or a quality t-shirt? It feels like it's fit for a king. You want quality, man. Yes, YouTube is a search engine. How effective YouTube is, cool. I can relax and make something quality that will forever increase, yes. And you can have fun making it too. Cool, so next question is, what, what are your biggest fears and insecurities or beliefs, like limiting beliefs right now that are surrounding your YouTube journey that would kind of prevent you from making or succeeding with, with your own channel? I'm curious to know what, what your um, kind of fears and insecurities are here. Ageism. Ageism. Some people, man, some people love watching videos from older people. Plus, it makes you super wise. Much more likely to take your advice from an older person because they're wise. Perfectionism. Okay, we're going to talk about perfectionism in a bit here, Eric. I'll make videos not convert and it'll be a waste of time. Yeah, Andrew, the question you gotta ask yourself then is how enjoyable is the process for you? If you're really enjoying the process, is it a waste of time? Right? Like, <laughs> nothing we enjoy doing is ever a waste of time. Need to learn video editing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, video editing, it seems really daunting before you know how to do it. I still remember being very, very reluctant to get into it. And then once you learn how to do it, it's literally, it's like learning how to type on a keyboard. Like, there's only a finite amount of things to do. You drag and drop, cut and paste, delete. Like it's unbelievably easy. And they, the software makes it super easy. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in business. I feel like video and audio, audio quality sucks. Okay. I don't have time, says Vic. Vic doesn't have time. Okay. It's finding the right content. Interesting. Cat says my hair is green. I thought your hair was pink, Cat. Not sounding smart enough in my videos. Not getting views. Okay. Well, you guys got a lot. I'll have to read through those in a, in, a, in a bit. You guys came up with a lot. Thanks for sharing. 
imposter syndrome. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So those are definitely there. And it's like, now that you're aware that those are there, I hope, hopefully you guys can also understand that all those insecurities and fears that you just had are things that I once had as well. And they're all like, they're all just figments of your imagination. They're just literally in your head. And if they're like, once you get out there and start doing things, you'll realize that they're not like, they hold no ground. In fact, when you break the word fear up, F-E-A-R, you get false events appearing real. They're illusions. False events appearing real. So at the, by the end of today's class, just curious, if I was to put together maybe a small group to make videos together on a regular basis to help you crush it on YouTube, does that sound like something that would be helpful for you? If we were to work through all those mindset blocks together? Yeah? Okay. Cool. Yes, it'd be super fun. Cool. So first, let's take a look at how the really good videos are made. Okay. This is a thumbnail from uh, one of my best videos. And just as a note, these, the videos I'm about to share with you here tonight, these are the types of videos that feel like art projects and they're used intentionally to get a ton of views and to make a ton of money. These are not, these are not just those cheap throwaway videos like that you make every single day. Like I've made a ton of those videos. They're fun to make. Those are like the therapy type videos where you just talk and upload. Those are videos are good to make too, to build your confidence and build your skill of speaking. But I recommend having a separate YouTube channel for those. And then I recommend having a separate YouTube channel for the videos I'm about to share with you how to make here, the quality ones. So you have like a low quality channel just for your throwaway and your practice and your therapy. Then you have a, an art channel with like your, your masterpieces. Cool. And just as a warning, I'm going to be going through this part kind of fast, but if you stay to the end, you can grab the slides. Okay, and I'm also, as we go through this, I'm going to give you five secret gems that are going to be absolute game changers for you as we go through this. Cool. Type cool if you're in for the five secret gems. And uh, if you're ready to get into this, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Secret jam number one, there's no one way to make a YouTube video, but like all good recipes, you'll need great ingredients. Any one of you in the audience, I'm sure there's a lot of you who make a lot of recipes. You know that there's not just one way to make the recipe. You can do all sorts of stuff. You could soak this before you dehydrate this, or you could blend this before you do this. Like you don't need to do everything in order all the time, but you do need great ingredients, right? Uh, and just like those really super addictive recipes that, that always contain fat, sugar, and salt. Like, actually, I'm curious to know, type in the, type in the chat what one of those is. For me, like one of the most addictive ones, it's so simple. It's dates and peanut butter. It's good. Dates is like the sugar. Peanut butter is like the fat and the salt. It's like dates and peanut butter is unbelievable. It's so addictive. Yeah, peanut butter cookies, exactly. It's dates and peanut butter, that's it. Uh, fat and salt, potato chips, exactly. Potato chips, right? You got the potato, the carbs, you got the salt, and you got the deep fried. Yelena says uh, sweet mangoes. Yeah, well. Another one might be durian. Durian's got a bit of fat, sugar, and salt in there. Cashew cheese, chips. Yeah, chips and, and peanut butter cookies are like the great examples. Like anytime you go to the next, I challenge you, next time you go to the grocery store or the gas station, go in the junk food aisle. And I guarantee you in every bag of junk food, it's going to have some form of fat in the form of oil, most likely some form of sugar and some form of salt. Like these three are like the ultimate combo for an addictive recipe. Now there are three addictive ingredients that guarantee your videos are going to hold the attention of its viewers. Any guesses what these three ingredients are? Yelena's not allowed to get, Yelena's not allowed to guess. She's banned. But B-roll is one of them. Yes. Matt says visual audio content. What does content mean? <laughs> content is like the thing, but, and, and uh, yeah, what kind of audio? Close. And it says, well, a uh, thumbnail. Think something new. Close. Okay. You guys are kind of off. So I'm just going to get to it. Enthusiasm, problem solving. Now we're going to get to it. Here we go. These are them. You need a story. You need B-roll. You need some music. These three, if you got these three, you're, ah, it's like, it's, it's the ultimate. Okay. So we're going to break each of these down. So you really understand them. But honestly, like if you can become really good at telling a story, really good at getting B-roll, 
and really good at sourcing music and putting these in, your videos are going to be amazing. It's going to, they're going to be like crack. Humans will not be able to resist. And resist. And when you think about it, like, why is, why is like, why is TikTok so, um, why is TikTok so, so trending right now? Why are reels so trendy on Instagram? It's like, well, they have story. They have someone talking usually they have B-roll, they have footage and they have music and there's short, sweet to the point. And it's just like, wow, it's just like, bam, it keeps like hitting you with like that fat, sugar, salt, like bam, 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 bam. Reels and TikToks are super addictive because they got these and the best YouTube videos have them too, but they're just long form. Okay. So let's break each of them down. Story. What a story is not. A story is not just facts. This is super boring. A lot of really boring YouTubers talk about just facts. And I know Yelena talked about, oh, one of my fears is I don't want to, I don't want to risk not being smart or sounding smart. That's not why people watch you. If you sound smart, you're actually kind of boring. Facts are kind of boring. Like stories are what's really cool. And you don't need to be smart to tell a story. Facts are, are boring. People forget facts. People don't even trust facts as much as stories either. They've done all these studies where people actually, they trust a story so much more than they trust a fact. And I'll tell you an example right now. If I told you right now that there is a 1%, no, I'll tell you right now that there is a 0.1% chance that if you walk outside my backyard right now, you're going to meet a cougar. A cougar is going to come and attack me. There's a 0.1% chance of that happening in my backyard. But I live in the woods. 0.1% chance, not very likely, right? But if I told you that last night I went out and a cougar tried to attack me, would you want to go in my backyard right now? No, because I just told you a really scary story about a freaking cougar. You're like, I'm not doing one who Ted, Ted almost got attacked. See, that story hit you way harder than me saying there's a 0.01% chance of a cougar getting you, right? Stories are so much more impactful. A great quote, by the way, you got to write this one down. This one is a great reminder every time you're, you want to create a good story. Facts tell, sure, but stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. This is the quote. This is it. And I just sold you on not going outside. Because you're like, yo, Ted almost got attacked. I'm not going to go aside. But if I just left it at being like, you know, it was a 0.01% chance. Nah, told you something, but you're still going to, you're still going to go because it's just a 0.1% chance. So my favorite story structure for making sales, you're going to want to write this one down or take a screenshot is as follows. Uh, right here. First, you talk about a brutal before, talk about when everything sucks. Then you talk about a divine discovery, like what you discovered. And then you finish it off with now, wow, like the results, how things are epic. And people can relate with you when you talk about the brutal before. People are going to feel that divine discovery with you when you share that. And people are going to want that now, wow, which is where the sales made. Okay. So here's an example story. My life had no purpose. And I felt ugly and pathetic with so much acne on my face, on my back and on my chest. But then one day I was clearing out my spam box and my email. And I discovered a raw food forum called 30 bananas a day.com through a random email in my junk box. And inside the forum, people were in there talking about how they lost a hundred pounds. They cured diseases and they even cleared their acne with a raw food diet. I was a bit skeptical to give this a try, but I had nothing to lose at this point, And I was desperate. Again, I had no purpose and I felt ugly and pathetic. So I went up to the grocery shopping and I loaded up on fruit. And I ate nothing but fruit for two weeks because I wanted to get these results that I could supposedly get. And to my shock, when I looked in the mirror during the second week, my acne had completely disappeared on my face, back, and chest. It was gone. Now, I share this raw food message with the world, and my life has purpose. And I feel confident and attractive with clear, radiant skin. The end. Who liked that story? It's a true story, by the way. <laughs> but look how simple that was, right? Brutal before, divine discovery, now wow. Unbelievably simple, would make for a great YouTube video. Okay? Now, I'm sure you all have a story like that as well. Type an M-E in the chat if you've got a story like that somewhere in you. Type an M-E. Okay? Now, the crazy thing is about YouTube, unlike Instagram and TikTok, where you need to be banging out video a day, post a day, three posts a day, even holy smokes. YouTube is like, dude, give us like two, three, maybe four videos a month 
and you're good. Like YouTube just wants quality. You don't even need frequency. The higher the quality, the lower the frequency you need. Some channels that do one video a month because they're so good and they just tell a crazy story with B-roll and some music. That's it. So what is B-roll? B-roll is the footage on your videos, okay? But it's not the footage of you speaking to the camera. That's A-roll. Like if I'm talking to the camera right now, this is A-roll. B-roll would be like, well, I'll show you an example. B-roll is the video that plays over top while you're talking. Okay, let's look at an example from my, my webinar. If you want to watch the full thing later, you can go to tedcarclass.com. But I'll show you an example right now from this. Okay, and you'll see some A-roll. You'll see a bit of a story. You'll see B-roll and you hear some, you're going to hear some music. That's A-roll right there. Let's go. We'll just play the first 15, 20 seconds. Many years ago, I heard a quote by Jim Rohn that has forever changed my life. And that quote is, profits are better than wages. This is how one video made me over a million dollars with my at-home vegan business. And my goal with today's training is to reverse engineer exactly what I did to make that money so that you can replicate this system yourself and use it to make at least $10,000 every month with your own at-home vegan business. So that was it. You guys see what I mean? Had the B-roll, had the A-roll, had the music, had me had my story. Cool? Type cool if you thought that was cool. <laughs> cool. So pretty simple. Sachi even says so cool. Allison says awesome. Catherine says very cool. Like so simple. I told a story. I had some music. I had some B-roll. I had some A-roll. So you got to connect and, and see that I'm real. Ali says freaking awesome. Rashid says epic. Guys, it's just that it's, it's the, how the heck do we do that? Lori's like, I want this. Right? She's, Lori's already feeling the addictiveness of that fat, sugar, salt. She's feeling that addictiveness of that story, B-roll music. This shit hits different, man. It's so good. So this is what I'm going to teach you to build tonight. This is why you're here. Cool. So that was just a quick sample. Again, if you want the full thing, tedcarclass.com, you can study that. I recommend, actually recommend studying that. Uh, cause that, that video alone, like if you just replicate a video like that, you're going to go on to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. So if you want free B roll, by the way, you can go to pexels.com. That's where I got a lot of the B roll for that film. If you watch my film and you go to pexels.com, you can download a bunch of free stuff. Uh, you'll be able to see a lot of my footage that's actually pulled from that website. Okay. It's completely free and completely legal to use. Uh, now for the music, okay. For the best music, it's, you just want quiet background instrumental music while you talk. And then when you stop talking, like when you're just showing some B-roll, you just make the music a little bit louder. That's it. For free music, you can go to youtube.com slash audio library. And again, you can grab a ton of music. It's all super epic and uh, it's free and legal to use. Okay. So those are the ingredients. Those are the ingredients. Now, how would you like to see how to put them together to actually create a masterpiece? Who'd like to see that? We know the ingredients. Now do you want to see how it's all concocted? Me, please. Let's see it. Yes. Okay. Let's get to it. These are the five steps to take, to put together an epic YouTube video. This right here, what you're about to see is the coconut meat and potatoes of the class here today. If you can grasp what I'm about to share with you, you're set for life. If you can grasp what I'm about to share with you, you can have that same impact on everyone that you just felt watching that little 20 second snippet. Okay. And you don't need to take these steps in, in the order that I say per se, but generally this is the safest way to go to guarantee high quality video. Okay. So feel free to break the rules a bit, but just more or less follow the structure and you're going to do just fine. We're going to go through these together here. So I'm going to need some audience participation. Sound good? Sound good? And then you say, bueno, good, all right. Let good, let's go, let's go, get to it. Step one, the video idea. You need a video idea, you need an idea. This is where some people quit. They, they, they're like, oh, I need, I need an idea. Oh, I don't know, I'll do that tomorrow. They never do it. <clears throat> oh, I can't come up with an idea, I'll just quit. Who here has quit at step one? Type step one if you've quit at this stage. 
Eric's quit this face, Matt's quit this face. Like it's, it's it's like it it's 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 sadly is that even a word? It's sadly it's unfortunately funny that people quit at this stage. Like I don't know of an idea, but it's it is the first step, and a lot of people do fail at this stage. So let's get to it. Let's let's overcome it. The first key to coming up with a great video idea is have an objective with it. Like what's the point of the video? And B, see what kind of videos you like and just replicate those. So watch some YouTube videos, see what kinds you like. I can give you a few channels right now. If you'd like, I can share with you a few names and you can go study some of them if you want. Uh, one of them is called uh, Matt Diavella. His videos are freaking beautiful. Matt Diavella, you'll have to type it out and hopefully spell it right. Another one is called Better Ideas. Really, really beautiful videos. Another channel is called Captain Sinbad. Really, really cool videos. Another one is called, those three are good enough. I'm sure there's lots more out there, but those three are, those three are good enough. Oh, another one, my friend Sadie actually. Check out a uh, Pickup Limes. Pickup Limes. Videos are a bit different than what I'm saying here, but also very beautiful, elegant videos. She's dope. So yeah, uh, now here's some questions to ask yourself before deciding on your video idea. What do you feel like helping people with? Like what's something you actually, you feel like helping people with? And what can you inspire people to do? Like what do people often ask you how to do or what do you know how to do that like other people don't necessarily know how to do but would want to learn? And what problem did you used to experience but have now solved for yourself? Right? For me, the story was clearing my acne or being super broke before, that's a problem. I've solved it. So now I share how to overcome being broke. What will the end result for a viewer be once they finish watching your video? So in the case of the acne video, they'll have clear acne or sorry, clear acne, they'll have clear skin. In the case of the, the, the make money online video, it'll be, they'll have at least five, $10,000 a month coming in. Right now, the second key to a great video idea is to have an actual method to share with your people. So just knowing the problem and knowing the end result that you want to help them get is a good start, but now we need something in between to actually help them get there. We need a method, okay? So make sure you have you give tangible steps and advice. Tangible steps and advice, kind of like I'm giving you here throughout this video tonight. Ask yourself, what are the three main points that you're going to use to help your people solve this issue that they're having? I, I don't start any video on YouTube until I'm clear on these three points. Otherwise, I'm going to wander off and go into la la land. Like I'm going to go off to Jupiter, Uranus or something. Like I'm going to be way off track. What are the three main points? If you're teaching someone how to lose weight in a video, you just share with them. Okay. It's going to come down to having a vision. It's going to come down to tracking your calories and it's going to come down to moving your body every day. Like those are the three main points, for example. Okay. What are the three main points? Every video should have at least I mean, you could have two points, but for some reason, three feels really, really good. Three points. I think five is too many. Three is just, it's, this is the sweet spot. Okay. Even though here I am giving you five secret gems. What can I say? I'm, I'm, I'm over delivering. <laughs> what, now you ask yourself, what are your stories for each of those points? So one of your points might be to hold the vision. You talk about how you once created a vision for yourself. The other point was tracking your calories. You talk about how you once hated tracking your calories, but then you learned how to love it. And now it's awesome. And you think it's great and it gets you the results. And then the third piece was moving your body. You could talk about how you discovered your love for movement. Once you bought a walking treadmill for your desk. Okay. Now, what are your stories for those? Yeah. You give stories for each point and this writing all this out, just brainstorming all this. It should take you about 30 minutes max. Okay. Shouldn't take you more than that especially once you start watching some YouTube videos and you're like inspired on a regular basis, 30 minutes max. And if you really want, I don't recommend doing this, but if you're really stuck for an idea, delegate it out for 10 bucks to someone on Fiverr, they'll come back with a bunch of cool video ideas for you. And you just pick one of them and go, okay. You tell them what you're interested in and they'll go out and find the idea for you. So your turn right now, give me an idea for a YouTube video. Let's do something we can all relate to, which is transitioning to a plant-based diet. How to transition to a plant-based diet. Thanks, Lori. We're gonna go with that one. Now that we have our idea, what next? We're gonna make a video called how to transition to a plant-based diet successfully. Step two, we need a script. Cool, we need a script. Now, here's the thing with 
scripts. And this is the secret gem. When writing a video script, you need to understand that your brain, it has two modes. Two modes. Your brain does not function in one mode when you're writing. I know Raj is a writer. He knows this. When writing, you have two modes. Okay. It has gear one, which is meant for just flowing, getting all your ideas out. And then it has gear two, which is like for editing, perfecting, and adjusting things around. Okay. To finish a script, you must not get in the way of gear one by shifting into gear two as you write. Writing and editing are two completely separate events. Treat them as such, and you aren't going to have an issue with your script writing. But if you start shifting between gear one, gear two all the time, it's going to be jerky as a mother effer, and you're not going to be able to get anything done. Who here has sat in a car with someone who sucks at driving manually? Type me if you've driven in a car with someone who sucks at driving manually, and you like hate life. It's so brutal. It's so brutal. It's like my biggest pet peeve, man. If you don't know how to drive manually, it's like the worst thing ever. It's like just so jerky. So that's like writing a script, shifting between gear one and gear two. Like when you write, just write. The more typos, the better. The more of those red squiggly lines, the better. You want lots of them. It should be almost difficult for you to go back and read what you wrote because it's so bad. It's like so full of typos. It doesn't make any sense. It's completely unorganized. You got to flow, got to flow, got to flow, got to flow, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. Then go back and write it and, and fix it up. This webinar that you're watching right now, yesterday, I just went dumped all my ideas out on the page today. I went back and I'm like, bro, that was so bad. Like, I'm so glad I'm editing this because it was so bad. You guys wouldn't, you guys would have left already. It's so bad, but that's the point. Like it, it, it's supposed to be bad. If it's not bad, it's not getting done. The first draft in the words of Ernest Hemingway, one of the best writers of all time, the first draft is always shit. Another famous YouTuber said the first draft of his YouTube videos make him depressed. Because he reads them and he's like, oh my God, there's no way I'm going to be able to make this good. But when you start editing, it starts to come along really, really well. So again, run your writing, just flow and then edit later. Brain one, sorry, brain gear one, just flow, no edits allowed. More typos, the better. You spend about an hour or two max. You're writing out a script for all your ideas, how to transition to a plant-based diet. So your turn. We're going to set the timer for one minute. And I would like a good intro script for this video idea. Okay, we're going to speed write this one out. Who's ready? Type me if we're ready. And we're going to type in the chat a big paragraph and then hit enter. Okay. We're going to write an intro script for how to transition to a plant-based diet. I'm going to do it with you. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Wow. Look at this is going to be so fun. Wow. You guys are fast. Okay, so I'll read through these. Uh, mine was, do you want to look sexy, feel great, clear your skin and live longer? If you do, I'm about to show you exactly how to do that by changing just one thing about how you eat. Not a bad intro script, right? Type Ted if you think that's approved. Allison's, are you overwhelmed at the idea of changing to a plant-based diet? Have no fear. These five steps will get you started and help you ease into your new way of eating. You can pace each step at your own rate. Don't worry about making mistakes. They are built in. Nice, Allison. Type Allison if you think Allison's is approved. Yulina's. Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope your day has been awesome so far. Today, I'm going to show you three strategies you can apply and to easily and sustainably transition to a plant-based diet. Type Yelena in the chat if you think hers is approved. Eric's, if you'd like to learn how to reap the benefits of a plant-based diet and successfully make the transition to veganism, please stay tuned for an informative and insightful video. Cue the intro. You're watching Eric Jeffrey on YouTube. Nice, Eric. Type Eric if Eric's is approved. Jung Seuss, want to transition to a plant-based diet but have no idea where to start? That's how I felt. There were so many different ways other people recommended going about it. Looking back, what, what helped me was, da, da, da. cool. Type JS if Jung Su's is approved, and we'll get to Matt's. Uh, I don't think that's a script, is it? I don't think Matt's is an intro script. Sorry, Matt, you get an F on that one. <laughs> Shelly's. Hello and welcome to my video here where we are going to talk about how to successfully transition to a vegan diet. 
that will help you feel full, happy, and healthy. You may be intimidated or not even know where to start, but I'm really excited to share with you my top three tips for how to do this. Beautiful. Perfect. Hey, good job, Shelly. Lori, um, I don't think that's an intro script. Cool. Okay. Uh, Lewis, 10 years ago, I was 40 pounds overweight. I felt sluggish and lazy all the time. I had no girlfriend. And then one day I watched a film called Forks Over Knives and it completely revolutionized what I thought about food. I instantly became vegan. I started making recipes and immediately felt amazing. I shed over 40 pounds with little to no willpower whatsoever. I never looked back in this video and I never looked back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transition to a vegan diet as well. Good stuff. Good. These are all amazing. Type amazing if you felt everyone's was amazing. Like you guys are, you guys are amazing. That's so good. And that took a minute. That took a minute. Who's the guy who said I don't have time? I want to, I want to, if you're saying I don't have time, you have to just say STFU. STFU. We did it in a minute, bro. We did the intro in a minute. It's so good because we tapped into gear one. We didn't give a shit about gear two. Okay. We just did that gear one. We just went for it. Okay. So brain gear two now is editing. So this is where you make things make a bit more sense and make them kind of sound more like you. And the way to do this is once you write out your script and it's kind of garbage or it's really garbage, you, you got to go through and you got to edit it. And one way I like to edit it is just to read it out loud. And when you read it out loud, you're going to constantly find mistakes because when you read out loud, you're typically reading, I don't know the word count, but it's like you're reading like 30% slower than you would if you're reading in your mind. So when you're reading out loud, you slow it down, you get each word and you can edit as you go. Another way to make edits too is you can record yourself. Like once, once it all like sounds pretty good, record yourself and then listen back to it when you're out for a walk or driving. And then as you're listening, you're like, nah, it's like there's that part's really boring or that part doesn't make sense or whatever. As you listen back, you're going to like listen like a musician and you're going to want to go back and change things how it sounds. So that's a really good tip too for editing. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set the timer for a minute. We're going to go and make our uh, intro a little bit better. See if, if, if possible. Okay. So timer is on now. So we made some edits. I'm not going to go and reread everyone's, but that was the process. It's, do you notice how it's a bit more like analytical? Like you're, you're much more like, it, it's like a different part of the brain where you're like critiquing. You notice how you did to feel different editing that than it did the first time. Did like type a yes, if that felt differently editing that than it did to flow the first time. Right. So knowing that, it was more of a brain block. Exactly. Knowing that. Imagine if you didn't know that and you had to go and write something and you're constantly shifting between gear one, gear two all the time. It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. So that's how we flow. Okay. So you spend about an hour editing all of your work. Um, if, if necessary, it could be less, but about an hour on the editing, or you can delegate out the editing for 50 bucks or the whole script writing process, for 50 bucks to someone on Fiverr. But I really recommend doing this yourself. It'll really sound like you. The third step to creating epic video now is to film the A-roll, okay? To film the A-roll, you just set up a backdrop like I've got right here. You set up some lighting like I've got right here. And you set up a camera and a laptop. And you can just use your webcam. It doesn't need to be a fancy camera by any means. And then what you do is you just read the script and look at the camera and say it. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to pretend that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this now. And I'm going to look at the camera and say it without reading the screen. Set up backdrop, lighting, camera, laptop, read the script, and look at the camera and say it. Okay, here we go. So to film the A-roll, you, no, nope, messed it up. So to film the A-roll, you just, so to film your A-roll, you just set up your backdrop, you get some good lighting, and, oops, I should have this here. It's harder than I thought. I'm, I'm under pressure. So to film your A-roll, you just, Set up your backdrop, you set up your lighting, you set up your mic, and you have your laptop in front of you, and you glance down first, read it, and look back up, and then speak it to the camera. There, there we go, not bad. So it's easier when you're not under pressure, you don't have a thousand people looking at you on a freaking live webinar, but that's what you do. You look down at your sentence, and you look back up, and you repeat it. And just like a waiter or waitress, 
you're going to get good at short-term memory and it's going to be a lot easier for you to look down, read it, memorize it and spew it back to the camera. And it sounds really, really natural when you do. Okay. But you, you don't want to be reading it from a teleprompter. It looks really fake. So uh, who wants to read their script out loud? I'm going to pick two people to read their script out loud. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Yelly here from Yelly's Belly. I hope your day has been awesome so far. Are you someone who's looking to lose weight, clear up your skin, build some muscle, or want to have boundless energy? Well, today is going to change everything for you because I'm about to show you the three strategies you can apply to easily and sustainably transition to a plant-based diet and build the most sexiest, fittest, and healthiest body of your dreams. And no, don't you worry. I don't fast, restrict, or do a million hours of cardio a day. Hey, good work. A plus. Nice. Thank you. Sweet. Good stuff. Who wants to go next? Type me and we'll pick the first one that says me. Jung Soo. All right. You guys ready to hear the most interesting accent in the world? Coming up. Want to transition to a plant-based diet but have no idea where to start? That's how I felt. There were so many different ways other people recommended going about it. Looking back, what helped me was to write down the plant foods I enjoy and replace the animal products with those foods. I found that when I enjoyed what I was eating, the diet was easy to stick to and therefore easily sustainable. Yes, staying atop of nutritional info was important, but it was secondary to how much I was enjoying it and staying true to my ultimate goal of remaining cruelty free. There we go. Nice work. It's that easy. Good stuff. Thanks, Jung Soo. Thanks. <laughs> cool. So. It's that easy. We write the script, we read the script. It takes about 20, 30 minutes to go through and, and, and record your A-roll of you reading it. And you can delegate this out to someone 50 bucks on Fiverr if you want, but I recommend doing it yourself. The step four now is to, is to film and collect the B-roll. Uh, we are covering a lot today. Who feels like they've gotten a golden nugget or two so far today? Type gold in the chat if you've gotten at least a golden nugget or two. We've covered a heck of a lot, I feel. Gold, 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 gold. Okay. Many golden, mega gold nuggets. Sweet. All right. So if you want to collect the B-roll, it's super easy. You got a couple of choices. Number one, you go to storyblockspexels.com or Artgrid. There's a bunch of different platforms out there. Pexels is free. Storyblocks charges, Artgrid charges, but Pexels is free. There's a bunch of other ones out there, but those are three to get you started. And you'll be able to download a really epic cinematic B-roll footage for your videos. Or, I say or, but I actually mean and. I recommend doing this as well. So and or. Uh, film yourself in different locations of your house. It's easiest, honestly, to get a friend or family member to film you, but otherwise you can just set up a tripod and do this yourself. It's so easy and it looks great. Here's some examples of me filming myself. Okay. The me in the lake, it's just, you just put a drone in the sky and point it down. The, me walking in the woods, you put a tripod, you walk, me on the carpet, you put a tripod, you just lay down, right? Like on my computer, set up a tripod and just work like, it's not hard to film yourself and it looks good. It's cool, especially when it goes along with what you're saying. Okay? All these scenes are from the film at tedcarclass.com, by the way. You can check it out there. But yeah, it, it just it's really, really simple and it really connects with people when they see you in the video. And filming this B-roll, collecting all the B-roll can take an hour or two tops for your script. The fifth step is in editing. I know a lot of people maybe are scared of editing because they haven't edited before, but it's really easy if you use iMovie or Adobe Premiere. I started out with iMovie and then I switched to Adobe Premiere. Um, another one is Final Cut Pro. I'd recommend those three, iMovie, Final Cut Pro, or Adobe Premiere. If you have a PC, you, I don't think you can use iMovie or Final Cut. You have to use Adobe Premiere, but these are the best. There's so many tutorials on YouTube and I swear to God, if you spend one hour on YouTube watching tutorials, you will have it mastered. Like it's, it's, it, can't, it can't take you more than an hour to master how to drop some footage in and cut it and do what you want with it. And it's very empowering to learn how to do this. Okay, super simple editing. You're just cutting out the bad parts of the A-roll, keeping all the good parts of the B-roll, 
and A roll and just adding some music and you're done. Like it's so simple. Okay. I can't stress that enough. Like don't freak out about the editing. If you've never done it before, I totally understand. Been there. I went on YouTube and I learned how. Okay. And I only learned how to use Adobe Premiere like a couple of years ago. I had to go on YouTube and learn. It takes between two to three hours to do the editing of your video. If you're like a perfectionist and you can delegate out to someone to edit for you for 40 bucks on Fiverr. Another secret gem is really to have fun with this. Like to treat your videos like an art project, not like a business venture. It shouldn't be like treated like a business venture at all. It should be like truly like an art project, something you're really proud of. Uh, the business side of it and the back end, it can all be automated. Like don't even worry about that either. Like the, the business side automated, the art form, you know, flow with it. Okay. Six step. Once you've done the editing and you're happy with the finished product, now you have to upload it correctly. So you got to make a thumbnail. Best place to make a thumbnail is canva.com. These are some simple thumbnails I've made recently. One on the bottom right went viral, got like 130,000 views or something. Insane, but it goes to show the power of a good thumbnail. And it's like kind of, uh, it's not ironic. It's actually, um, it's, it's appropriate that <laughs> it's appropriate that that video went viral because I'm talking about why sex sells. And sure enough on the thumbnail, there's some, sexy business going on. So that video went viral and uh, power of the thumbnail right there. Okay. These thumbnails all took me like less than two minutes to make, by the way, I just type the text on, I go on Canva, I type in like girl meditating or woman at work or man sitting on chair or sex. And these videos, these pictures pop up and I just drag and drop them in. It's super simple. In so that's the thumbnail and in your description of the YouTube video, this is where you want to put all your links and that's it. You just put a bunch of links to your affiliate offers or links to your, your coaching offer or your course or uh, whatever else you want to link to sponsor the video, whatever. Okay. Just put some links in the description. Make sure to do that in the description. You can also put hashtags. You can put up to three hashtags. Uh, just make sure to put this at the very, very bottom. I'm not sure how effective hashtags actually are making sure your video gets found, but uh, it doesn't hurt to put some hashtags in there as well. Also, I found best results when I schedule my videos for 4 p.m. PST, which is about uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. That seems to do best for me. Um, and if you want to schedule it to uploading, you don't want to deal with all the uploading, which honestly takes you like five minutes. You can delegate out to someone for 15 bucks on Fiverr. But you might as well just do it yourself because it's so freaking fast and easy. Um, and another secret gem, I think it's supposed to be secret gem number five. Um, but question is, are you going to be upset if nobody watches your videos? Cause you don't need to be, because even if your video doesn't do well in its first week, it has potential to still go viral years later. That's what I freaking love about YouTube. So don't stress, just keep uploading. The algorithm is really simple on YouTube. If you can hold the attention on a video, they'll show up to more people and you're going to show up and you're sorry, and you're going to be able to hold attention if you tell an intriguing story to the right audience. So the total time for making one of these videos is about 11 to 12 hours for a really great video that can go on to make you a full-time income for the rest of your life. So secret gem, maybe it's number five, maybe it's number six. Do you want to be set up six? Do you want to be set up for success financially for the rest of your life? You probably do. Because as you can see this video making process, it takes maximum 12 hours but it has the potential to set you up for financial success for the rest of your life. If you do one, right, you're just one video away. Now I know we've covered a lot today and we've been going at this now for an hour and 20 minutes, but do you feel like with a little practice, you can actually do this? Like you can actually really do this. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. And would it help you if you could work with someone to, help you get fully organized and streamline this entire process to make it effortless for you to make beautiful videos. If the scripting was easy, if the B-roll was easy, if the editing was easy, if the filming was easy, would that be helpful if you could work with someone to make that happen? Do you think that if you had someone walking you through in detail, every step of the process and doing it with you, that you could really succeed with this? Because for a very limited amount of time, I'm putting together a small group of people who want to work on making beautiful videos together. 
I'm so excited for this. This is going to be like a new chapter in my life, making just really beautiful videos with a bunch of people. I'm stoked. By joining this intimate group of people, three things are going to be guaranteed for you. Number one, you're going to have videos that you're going to be proud of and will be able to make money from. That's a guarantee. Number two is you're going to have fun during the video making process and you'll be able to meet great people as you go through the process in this group. Number three, you're going to have the skill of knowing how to make great videos for the rest of your life. You're going to know how to film and how to edit and how to storytell for the rest of your life. As a bonus perk for joining this group, if you're really good at making these videos or if you get really good at making these videos over time, which I, I you guys blew my mind, by the way, on those intro scripts, that was like next level. That was so good. If you continue to get good at making those stories and making these videos, I'll hire you to do my videos for me and you have a great paying job for life. Like I want to put together a team of editors here. And if I personally don't hire you, I can put you in contact with people who, who will hire you. I've got tons of people who are looking for editors okay, and video creators. So this is like you have a job for life if you master this. But since I'm only running this group for a very short period of time, for the first 100 people, here's what I'm going to give you if you join this group before this workshop ends. All right. So as if you're watching this right now, before it ends, this is what you're getting. You're getting a one hour video course that goes in depth on script writing, how to write the script. So it holds attention, keeps people watching. You're also getting a one hour course that goes in depth on the filming for the A roll and the B roll. So if you're wondering how do I film it, how do I make it look really good? This course is going to show you how to do that. You're also going to get a one hour course that goes into depth on editing. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I do my editing process. And I'll link to any really helpful tutorial videos just to help you get going. But once you get going, I'll then show you how to all the intricacies to keep the attention of the viewer and to really keep your story flowing well. I'm also going to give you a video script templates to make the writing process so much faster for you. So that way you're not staring at a blank screen to start your videos off. You can start with an actual template, okay? Different templates for different types of stories and videos. You're also getting done for you winning video title suggestions. You don't have to spend hours trying to pick a title for it. I'll already give you the best ones based on previous results. I'm also going to give you done for you thumbnail templates. You don't have to spend hours creating the thumbnail. If you're very first few times, I'll give you done for you templates. You just change in the photo, change in the words, maybe change the color done. You'll also be getting done for you YouTube description templates. You don't have to spend hours writing out your description each time and putting in different links. I'll have it all templated out for you, uh, a spot to even put your story in there as well. You'll also get a private Facebook group for support and to collaborate with people. And you'll be getting an email every day to keep you on track and clear with what you're doing throughout the entire process. Okay. So that way you're not just log in once and you kind of forget about it. You're going to email every day to remind you. Now, <clears throat> this entire package is what I'm calling tube school. So you've been watching tube class for the past hour and a bit. And this package is called tube school, but the best part, the most valuable part, in my opinion, and I'm sure you'll agree is even if you didn't get access to tube school, this bonus alone, it would be worth more than your entire investment in the program. It's a private one-on-one -on -one video review call with me to critique and give you feedback on your video. Okay. We'll go through it in detail and I'll tell you how to make it better for next time. Now the price for tube school. Well, I normally charge 497 bucks for one-on-one -on -one sessions alone, but by signing up today, Within the next 24 hours, you're going to be able to get everything. The one hour video course on, on script writing, the video course on filming, the video course on editing, the script templates, the winning video title suggestions, the thumbnail templates, the done for you description, the Facebook group, the email, and a private one-on-one -on -one call with me for critiques and feedback on your video for just, three ninety seven. but it gets better. Because if you sign up during this workshop before it ends and you're one of the first 100 people, you'll have two options for signing up. Option number one, you can get lifetime access to tube school for just 297. Or if you promise to give an honest testimonial of your experience and you submit your first video for review within seven days, option number two is you get lifetime access to tube school for just 97 bucks. You get everything for 97 bucks but it gets better. This is, this is where it gets ridiculous. This is where it gets ridiculous because if you sign up before this workshop ends and you go through the program and you submit the video for me to review and critique within the first seven days, I'll 
refund your $97. This way you're literally paying nothing and you have no financial risk whatsoever by joining. I'm so dead set on my goal of eliminating any and all excuses for you not joining right now so that you can succeed. That I'm willing to go so far as to refund your money if you just show up and do the work. But this offer is only for the first 100 people who sign up. And if you're watching this replay and it's still up, then this deal is still available. So to recap, you put down 97 today, you get access to everything. You get access to everything. Entire tube school, even the private call with me. In step three, I give you your money back. You've now essentially gone through the entire process for free. Okay. So you put down 97, you get access to everything. And then you submit the video and I give you your money back. What's $97 minus $97? It's $0. That's exactly what you're paying if you sign up right now. Zero bucks. But this tube school offer, it's only available if you sign up while you're watching this class and if you're one of the first 100 people. So to be one of the first 100 people, visit tubeschool.com right now. That's spelled S-K-O-O-L. In case you're listening and not watching, Tube School, and you can sign up. You also, as you go through the process, you're going to see an extra couple add-on options as you go through the checkout process. So I can explain what those are as well. First one is if you want extra help monetizing your video. So you just check the box there that says, yes, I also need help monetizing my channel. It's a one-time offer, not available anywhere else. And this is where I'll give you an exclusive training on how to actually monetize your channel with ads, merch, your own course and coaching program uh, so that you can start making money right off the bat. This one is a no brainer. If you're in the early stages and you want to profit quickly without waiting to get thousands of subscribers, it's going to show you how I created my course, my coaching offers. And I connected that with my YouTube videos to sell them without being salesy. The second upgrade option is if you want to uh, hire me to help you write your script or film the video with you over zoom. Okay. So this is a no brainer. If you know that you might struggling with the writing or filming part, or you've been known to procrastinate in the past and need just some accountability and quality assurance with your work. And now the third one, the third upgrade option is if you want to see a walkthrough of that webinar. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how I made that webinar and how it went on to generate hundred grand in its first couple months and how you can uh, start putting together your own one as well. So you can make your own Epic video for selling any of your own products in the future. This is perfect if you have an offer right now or you plan on having an offer very, very soon, but you feel like you might need some help actually selling that offer through an automated webinar. Okay, it's gonna show you how to do that by putting together your masterclass that makes it look super cinematic and gets people to buy it without feeling sold. Okay, so to recap, you put down 97 today, you get access to entire tube school plus access to myself in that private one-on-one -on -one call. You submit your video, I give you your money back. You've gone through the, now the entire process for $0. The only catch is you have to film and upload the video within seven days, okay? So if you can do that, it's 97 bucks. If you're beyond the, nine, if you're beyond the seven day point, you get removed from the Facebook group and you do not get refunded. But you can always sign up for lifetime access for $297. So that way there's no rush. So you do have those two options there, okay? You can visit tubeschool.com right now to register. Uh, what's the refund policy? There are no refunds unless you submit a video within seven days. Okay. If you submit the video within seven days, you get 97 back. Can I do it without showing my face? Yes, but you're going to make a lot more sales if you do show your face. Okay. You're going to make a lot more sales if you do show your face, but you can do this without showing your face for sure. Can I do it with just my phone? Yeah, you can even do it with a, uh, a webcam. You don't need a fancy camera or anything for this. Can I do it if I've never edited a video before? Yes, that's why I put the program together to help you if you've never edited videos before. It's going to show you how to do that. Can I do this if I've never filmed a video before? Yes, that's why the program exists to help you film these videos. Can I do it even if English is my second language? Yes, a lot of people actually prefer listening to people with accents. Can I do it if I don't know what my channel topic will be, what my niche will be, or what my offer will be? Yes, we're going to cover that in depth in the program. Uh, this program is not for you if you do not enjoy being creative, you don't enjoy helping people, you're easily triggered by constructive criticism and feedback, but it is for you if you love being creative, helping people, and getting helpful feedback on your work. If you're wondering where you can get a copy of these slides, by the way, you can go, you can head over to Instagram and DM me uh, the word slides. My Instagram is fruitarian. 
send me a DM with the slides. I'll send you back uh, a link to get the slides. Tubeschool.com to sign up for everything. Excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to make some videos together. And uh, yeah, type I'm in if you're in. Jung Su says she's signing up now. Itamar is in. Welcome. Do I need you to have you channel already? No, absolutely not. Definitely not. Wow, look at all you. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, 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 in. Wow, cat in. Welcome, cat. Andrew's in. Cool, cool, cool. Shelly's in. Yelena's in. Lauren Leitner says, bring it on. Wow. This is going to be fun. The $97 make my money back challenge, baby. Let's go. I'm curious, the people who didn't sign up, like what's, what, what, would, what was your reason for not signing up? I tried to make this like as much of a no-brainer as possible. Like it's literally free. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure what the reason would be to not sign up. Maybe someone doesn't have a credit card. I think I might've made a mistake here tonight. I think I might wake up tomorrow and think, oh my God, what did I do that for? I gave it all away. I gave it all away. That's the goal here, man. We want to give it away. I want to be able to die. I even wrote a note. I actually wrote a note. I'm like, why am I doing this? I had to convince myself to do this, by the way. And I wrote on my paper here, I wrote, I do this for three reasons. I wrote, I can die happy knowing that I've given this information away. I wrote, it's going to be a huge learning experience for me to see how you all create these videos. And I, I learned from teaching, so that's going to be fun. And the third thing is, you're going to give me a testimonial. So it's going to help more people get into this program. And then in the future, when I get rid of the $97 refund thing, I'll actually be able to make 100 bucks. So that's how that'll work. Can you state the steps you need to get the refund? Andrew's all about that refund. Now. He's like, how do I get it? How do I get it? Where's my money? Refund is super simple, dude. You make the video within seven days, you send it to me, and you get it back. When I get that video from you, I refund you. The instructions, yeah, the instructions are made clear in the email. It says, um, if you want me to critique your video, it's all in the email. Yeah. And testimonial, yeah, we'll... All that will happen organically. When, when I get the video from you, I'll be like, yo, great video, dude. You want to give a testimonial? And you'll be like, sure, man. And it'll just flow like that. We cool like that. I'm actually super curious why someone didn't sign up if they watched this whole thing. Like, what would be, like, is there anyone out there actually listening who didn't sign up? That much I'm super curious about. Like, what's your reason for not signing up? Not ready to share, not re feeling, the feeling of not being ready. That one. How many type of one if you've suffered from that before? Everybody. Okay, now, how did we overcome that? Suggestions, please. How do you overcome the feeling of not being ready? Great YouTube video, by the way. Great YouTube video title. How to overcome the feeling of not being ready. Someone says, just do it. Someone says, jump in. Someone says, baby step. Someone says, rationalize. Just jump in and start before ready. It's like, it's pretty much like, it's like, Think about this, like when you're on the edge of a cliff and you're going cliff diving, all your friends are in the water and you're the one left on the cliff. That's always me, by the way. And the last one to jump. I'm always like looking for some advice. Like I need some advice to jump. This is a big jump. And everyone in the water is like, just jump. Just jump. It's like the best advice. Just jump. Well, maybe it's not the best advice, but it's the default advice. I'm not religious, but when I jump off high cliffs and I feel like I might die, for some reason, I pray to Jesus and I'm like, Jesus, save me. And I just jump. <laughs> That's my thing. I, I you did it as a kid too, going on these really scary slides at the water park. Like I was never religious, but I've always like prayed to Jesus. Jesus, save me. And I like go down the slide like. Phew. It's in Jesus' hands now. So maybe if you're scared to make a video, just. Pray to Jesus. Solid, solid advice. Yeah, well, it's just what's worked for me. I found it fascinating that it worked. It has worked multiple times in life. Okay, I'm out of here. Peace, peace. Ciao for now.
Catch you later. Bye.